For your signature challenge, Mary and Paul would like you to make 12 gingerbread biscuits. Uh, now, what's important about that is they must all be the same size. If you're looking to butter me up 18 foot by 12, <laughs> it would be impressive. <laughs> On your marks, get set, bake! What are you doing in the Aldi world, these style? These are my scales. I can't work with the digital. I'm doing a chocolate dipped lemongrass and gingerbread biscuit. That sounds revolting. Hey, you've got to take risks, right, Paul? That's exactly what it looks like. A big risk. Hey. <laughs> They're just round, round biscuits. They're just very simple. They're Barbara Highlands gingerbread. Who's uh, Barbara, Barbara Highland? Highland. Barbara Highland. <laughs> Don't you know her? Does she live in your road? <laughs> no, she's, she's my mum's friend. Is it egg, syrup, ginger, ground ginger, flour? And bicarb, yeah. It's my mum's recipe, which... Uh... Oh, right, so you're on so to a winner here, then, recipe. if it's his mum's yeah. recipe. And I, but I don't like them, uh, personally. I don't like a lot of fuss on a ginger biscuit. I just like a ginger biscuit to be a ginger you biscuit. Know, I quite like a cake on top of a ginger biscuit, <laughs> but... <laughs> Mine have got a slight twist on them. They're going to look like uh, soldiers, as you would have with an egg dipped in. So, a bit different. I'm making uh, gingerbread Paul and Mary's. Can I just say something? I think you look slightly too glamorous. Yeah, well right, done. There we are, we're done. <laughs> that, see, that's what I want. That's perfect, now isn't happy. it? Now you have Now we love you. <laughs> God, has she done hers? Jean, did you bring them in a bag and just stick them on a tree? <laughs> it's about your lemon curd. The lemon curd's setting now. Now, it's still very watery. I, I think would maybe... bang it back on the heat. Yeah, OK, perfect. Well, well got... if you've got stuff to do, I'll do that for you. Oh, thank you. Well, the chocolate's now um, nearly ready. That okay, we, looks we... like hummus. I think that's a bit unfair, cos Jo's helping over there. Jo, I'm getting a bit miffed here, cos you didn't help me. What Greg doesn't realise is that I'm not really helping, I'm making things worse. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the icy, cold, staring eyes of Paul Hollywood. Oh, my God. Apart from the chocolate, the rest of it is inedible. Is that meant to be me? It's not Him. meant to be Mary, is it? It's got a beard. And look at your hair. Absolutely true That's to fall. Honestly. That's spot on. Uncanny. You shouldn't be able to do that with it. How many people, when they go to a bake sale and buy a gingerbread man, are going to stand and do that with it? They're not. Well, I'd pick it up like that and go, oh, hang on, it's soft. Yeah, but it you're needed not normal. Longer in the oven. What do you mean, not normal? Well, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> the actual biscuit itself could do with more ginger in. OK. It's a fun idea. You've really thought about it, but the gingerbread biscuit should taste of ginger. Yeah, that would make sense. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Right. You're brave. The lemongrass has let your biscuit down. I think the biscuit, it's overbaked. The flavours coming through are not good. It's dry as a bone, it's a bit like sawdust. It's got the texture of hardboard. But besides that, it's all right. Brilliant. They taste exactly the same as my mum's, because it's the same recipe, and I love them. It's a very, very simple uh, recipe. Maybe even just white chocolate spin on the top would have been very simple to do, but yeah. would have been highly effective. Does your mum decorate them? No. It's well the same, so perhaps... All right, then. Thank you very much, They're meant indeed. to be plain. Ha, 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 ha.